What's going on guys? John Elder here from Kunibi.com and in this video, we're gonna look at the carousel for Kivi and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at the carousel. But before we get started, if you like this video, you wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Kodobi.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership with all my courses, videos, and books. For one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, it is Christmas morning. Merry Christmas to everybody watching this video as we are plugging away, got a video out on Christmas. Of course we do, because that's what we do here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you guys continue to have a great day. And looking back throughout the year, the channel here has grown just tremendously and it's all because of you guys. So I just wanted to take a second to thank you for that and say Merry Christmas and hope you have a great day. So in this video, it's gonna be a short video. This is an easy one. We're gonna look at the carousel. So the carousel just lets us sort of, you know, slide around and we can go left to right. We can go up and down. We'll look at each of these things. You could do images that you have on your computer. You can pull images like this one right here, right off the internet. This isn't even on my computer. We're just pulling it off the internet. We'll look at that. And uh, really, really easy to do. So I've got two files called carousel.kv and carousel.py. These are basic Kivi starter code that we always have. You see I'm referencing our carousel.kv file in our builder here. And we're gonna be able to do everything we need to do in this Kivi file. So I've got a regular box layout like we always have. We've got the orientation set to vertical. We've got the size set to root width and root height. So it expands out to the entire size of our app. So to use this, all we have to do is call a carousel. So it's C-A-R like a car, O-U-S-E-L. And then inside of here, we just need to set the direction. And I'm gonna start this out going right. So it will scroll to the right. You could also do left, you could also do top, you could also do bottom. We'll look at all those in a bit. So after that, you just need to call your images, right? And we just call an image like we would always here. And remember from the last video, I've got a folder called images. And inside of here, I've got a file called aspen1.jpg. We looked at this in the last video. This images, this images directory is in the same directory as this entire file. And it's ckivinew slash images. So because it's in the same directory, we can use a relative path like this. Otherwise, we'd have to do something like uh, kivi new slash whatever. But since we're all in the same directory, we can just do it like this. And that's really all there is to it. I can just copy this and paste it a few more times. And here we could go aspen2 dot, this is actually a PNG file. And then finally aspen3.jpg. And that's it. So this is super, super easy. If we save this and run it, you'll see just how fast and easy that was. We can go Python carousel.py. And then when we do, we've got this right here and we could just sort of, I'm grabbing it with my mouse and sort of just sliding it across. And that's all there is to it. Just that easy. I mentioned, we could do it with images that are on our computer like I just did. You can also pull images straight off the internet. And I don't think we've actually talked about this yet, but to do that, we just call a sync image and then source and then the URL of the image. So let me just copy one really quickly and paste it in here. I've got a file sitting at kivicoder.com forward slash WP content. And it's the uh, thumbnail from yesterday's video. So we could just pull this straight off the kivicoder.com website. So if we save this and run it, we can see here's Aspen and boom, here's that kivicoder.com thumbnail from yesterday's video. So very cool, very easy, and uh, really, really neat. So I mentioned these can go left to right. They could also go up and down. So if we pull this over, we could also, well, let's start off by looking at left. If we save this one and run it, you can sort of probably imagine instead of going this way, now it goes this way, right? So it's now sort of carouseling to the left. That's sort of nice and easy. We can also do top and bottom. So if we save this as top for our direction, now it scrolls from the top, top down, right? So that's cool. And then finally, we can also go bottom. So it scrolls from the bottom up. So if we save this and run it, zoom, we see now it scrolls from the bottom up. So very cool, very easy. And you just really can't hardly ask for something easier than this. Let me change this back to right because you know, 
right is right. <laughs> and very cool. So that's really all there is to this carousel. That's why I left it for Christmas because nobody wants to work hard on Christmas. We can knock it out in like five minutes and get back to our Christmas festivities. So uh, that's kind of cool. So Merry Christmas again to everyone. Hope you have a great day and thanks for watching. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships and pages, $49 taxes, all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.